Hi, I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio, and it is a great day to continue our discussion about ankle and foot problems. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the Achilles tendon. So, uh, let's look at the, some of the anatomy and why Achilles tendonitis or tendinosis is really the best word is the problem. So, Mike's with us again today. Mike, hey, say hi to everybody. Hey. Hey Mike, how does that ankle uh, tape job feel that we did? Stiff. Okay. Yeah, kind of locks it in, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, so it, it's pretty cool stuff. So, um, the Achilles tendon is just that it's a tendon, and it's an extension of the muscles that come down from the calf. You have your gastrocnemius, which is that muscle that's got the two heads to it that you see on people's legs up here, comes down, you also have what's called the fascia of the leg, the fascia lata, which also attaches in. Now, in this junction here is where the muscle belly starts to transition into the tendon. That's the musculoskeletal junction, or myotendinous junction. So that area, you get a little bit of tendon, a little bit of muscle. And then as you come through here, it's all tendon and your Achilles tendon gets very tight, and then as it comes around, it'll actually have fibers that attach to the outside of the heel, as well as wrapping around in continuity with your plantar fascia. So it's all connected, so to speak. But this area through here is very dense. Now, there's a part of the Achilles tendon in this area. It's called the watershed area, meaning it doesn't have great blood supply. It's vulnerable. So a tendinosis is like a uh, rope that's framed from the inside out, okay? The fibers get torn, micro tears, micro tears, micro tears, and then it gets inflamed and it never really gets a chance to heal. And when you happen to a tendon in that watershed area, you're in double jeopardy. And that's where you can get those spontaneous ruptures, but that's also where you get those knots. You can actually feel bumps. A lot of times you can palpate your Achilles tendon and you'll actually feel it's thick and hard. So this can be a real issue. We gotta, on the one hand, get fresh blood in there to stimulate healing, but on the other hand, we don't want a lot of blood vessels because a lot of blood vessels, like in your muscles, actually create holes which create it weaker. So it's gotta be stiffer. So it's, it's, it's a tough situation to heal. And that's why they can be difficult to heal. So how do we address treatment of this? Well, number one, let's figure out where the issue is. Is it a problem in the myotendinous junction? Uh, is it a problem in the watershed area or in the attachment, even down into the heel, or is the whole calf involved? Is it the calf muscles, the gastrocnemius, or not gliding properly on the muscles below it in the deeper fascial plane? So that's my job. Once we figure that out, we definitely use kinesiology tape on this. Works really well. We'll have to show you that on another video. Um, and we also do deep therapy over it. Graston, instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization, radial shockwave. That's another video you can watch about all the different treatment modalities. And lastly, therapeutic exercise is great for this. Excellent, excellent research that shows eccentric calf raises are terrific for Achilles tendinosis. So that's a little bit about the Achilles tendon. If it's starting to fray, do you have to be a little concerned about it giving you a spontaneous rupture? Well, it can spontaneously rupture on anybody. It's most common in the 40 to 35 to 55 year old age group. Uh, and it usually is a spontaneous rupture doing something ballistic, running, jumping, hopping. Um, if it's starting to fray, you need to be a little bit more concerned about a spontaneous pressure, but if you don't strengthen it, it won't get stronger. So for your Achilles tendon, watch the other videos. If you have any questions, hey, call me, email me. Have a great day. It's been a great day to talk Achilles tendon.